Uh, welcome Wolf of Wolfets. So we are back with the brilliant house flipper on the PlayStation 5 and I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now in the last video we spent the entirety of it building walls and mapping out everybody's bedroom. So at the moment we've got a bedroom right here and this is going to be where Chunky Lappy is going to be living. We've got another room over here, the smallest of all of the rooms. This is where I'm going to be living. Originally, I didn't intend on giving myself a room in this house because I didn't think there was going to be enough room, but I've managed to squeeze another room in, so this is where I'm going to be living. This is going to be my bedroom. Over here, we've got Keely New One's bedroom. Then if you come outside to the garage, we're going to have both the Macabre Gamer and Rob the Priest living in the garage. Uh, if I, I think these garage doors are already open, but for some reason, They've glitched and it looks like they're closed. Yep, see? <laughs> Every time it does this. But this is going to be Rob the Priest's room over here. His little man cave. We're going to have uh, the Maccabi Gamer's rustic room over here. And then if I come upstairs, we have got the bathroom right here. This is going to be the toilets. I mean, it's a lot smaller than I wanted. We're going to have Crash Bandicoot fan over here. We're going to have Wolf Moon over here, and we are going to have um, Steve King's little baby's room over here. He's, uh, I guess it's his, his niece. His niece? Yeah, yeah, he'll be, yeah, he's the uncle. Yeah, so his niece. I think, did he, did he say the gender? I don't think he told me the gender. I think he said his, uh, his sister-in-law recently had a baby. Yeah, he didn't tell me if it was a boy or a girl. Shit. <laughs> now I don't know. Oh, mate. I hope he clicks on... Oh, no. By the time he, by the time he sees this video, I would have already have made the video. Right, we're going to have to try and make it as neutral as possible for the baby. Unless he did tell me. I'm going to have to check once I'm done recording. But we'll have to leave that room to last. But that's going to be a little baby's room. Because, uh, yeah, his uh, sister-in-law had a, had a baby. So he's, he's an uncle. I don't know if he's a fresh uncle or if he's been an uncle before. I've got no idea. But once again... A big shout out to Steve King. Well, to his sister-in-law. Okay, so what we're going to be focusing on today is I think we are just going to start painting uh, walls and stuff and uh, the rooms and that, just so I can remember everybody's room. So I think we'll start off with Crash Bandicoot fans' room upstairs because I've already, I've, I've been having a lot of trouble thinking like what the hell can I do to make this room Crash Bandicoot themed. So what I'm thinking about doing is I think we are gonna I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and make the room look like Crash Bandicoot. So I think the ceiling, I don't really like to paint the ceiling. I did paint the ceiling in my room blue when I was a kid to match my space themed bedroom, but I wasn't happy about it and trying to get rid of that blue even to this day. <laughs> it's a nightmare. But I think we'll make the ceiling brown to match Crash Bandicoot's hair. Then we'll make the walls orange to match Crash Bandicoot's body. And then I think we'll make the floor like a, a light blue to match Crash Bandicoot's um, trousers. And then I think we'll have like plants around in the room just to match up with like those jungle sort of levels that you get in the original Crash Bandicoot game. Cause you've got a lot of those jungle themes in you and those like temple ruins and stuff like that. So we'll have like a planty sort of temple-y kind of theme with the room. And then I'll try and get some like 90s kind of furniture. So maybe we'll have like a, uh, a little box TV over here, similar to what Grandpa Teddy would have. So I've actually, I've been thinking about this a lot and I think that might work. Whether it looks good or not is a different question, but I think that's what we'll do. But let's, uh, let's have a look at some of the uh, paints then. Oops. So walls. We're going to have to go with paint for this, ain't we? I don't think there's going to be any like good carpets or anything for the, uh, um, I don't think there's going to be any good wallpapers or anything. I mean, let's have a look. Uh, wall panels. This is wallpaper pretty much. Because the wallpaper, most of it, uh, looks just kiddy really. You've got a couple of nice wooden panels though, if you want to make like a, a logic sort of thing. Well, oh, those ones are a bit more grown up, I guess. So what do we need? What does the wall need to be? The wall needs to be orange. Mm, that That's somewhat orange. It says, it says gold, but it looks a bit more orange, doesn't it? 
I don't even know how old Crash Bandicoot fan is. I mean, the way that he writes his comments, I would say, is probably about my age or older, so... He's not an old man, and that looks pretty old manish. that does, doesn't it? Yeah, we're gonna have to just stick with paint. Mind you, I feel like with paint it's gonna look a bit kiddie. <laughs> let's have a look, let's see what kinds of oranges we've got. Oh! Mate, what, what kind of... That's more Crash Bandicoot than that one, ain't it? That's a bit too bright for Crash. That's more Crash. I can see my Crash Bandicoot 4 from here, yeah. So this is going to be the... Um, this is going to be the... Uh, I don't know how long the large paint tins last. So we'll just get one for now. But that's going to be for the wall. And then we need to have like a... Somewhat... Like a more dark than light brown for the uh, ceiling. Let's have a look. Is there any... Is that what Crash Bandicoot's hair looks like? Let me get my box. Lovely. You ain't played Crash Bandicoot 4 yet? I recommend it 1 million percent. Toys for Bob did a phenomenal job of this game. I mean, on this box, he's looking, his hair looks somewhat red. <laughs> it's got like a reddy brand look. It looks a bit more burgundy. It looks a bit more like... Uh, I don't know. We're going to go with this. This is the closest we're going to get, to be honest. Can you paint the ceiling in this game? I don't think I've actually checked if you can do that. We might not even be able to paint the ceiling, actually. So we might have to leave it white. I've completely forgot about that. Let me have a look. Oh, shit. No, you can't paint the ceiling, can you? Oh, well, that's all right. We could just make it, um, we could just make it orange and uh, make the floor blue. So let's quickly, let's actually, let's quickly get the painting done. You don't want to put the carpet down before you've painted the walls. That seems like a terrible idea. I mean, you can if you're an absolute madman or mad woman, <laughs> but it's not a good idea. Okay. Yeah, that's a very Crash Bandicoot orange, ain't it? That is very Crash Bandicoot orange. I think we might just completely do Crash Bandicoot fans' room today. I think I might just focus on everybody's rooms first because everybody's probably been waiting a long time now because I spent a really long time on the garden, a lot longer than I expected. I thought it would have been a lot quicker than that. So I think I might just spend the next videos doing everybody's room. And then once that's done, the last few videos will be me just pretty much, just me pretty much doing the, um, the rest of the house, like the toilets and stuff. I should have probably done all of the installations as well because everybody needs a radiator in their room. So I might do that in this video as well. I think I'll paint I'll paint the room, then I'll quickly do all of the uh, installations and that, so I know where the radiators are gonna be. And then we can uh, pretty much spend a video doing probably one person's room per video, depending on how quick I get it done. These large paint cans are brilliant. They last for ages. Shame you can't paint the ceiling. I suppose it's because people just don't really paint their ceilings, do they? Mind you, I might want to paint it white. Give it a fresh lick of paint, you know? But... <sighs> We're not allowed. That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty nice orange, actually. That doesn't look too bad. Sometimes when you use these like fancy colours, it, it makes things... When these like vibrant colours make things look dodgy, don't they? I don't know what the carpet's going to look like, mind you. Oof. Oh, god damn, mate, that's very psychedelic. That's not blue enough. We need like a, we need a good bright blue. Oh, that's too dark. We need a... Oh, why's it got to be ceramic? I mean, that's some, that... Oh, where's the light blues at? I mean, that's... Uh, oh, uh, that's going to be the close. That's not even really blue. Oh, there we go. That's the probably the lightest blue we're going to be able to get. It's going to look like Premier in this carpet.
Eh, uh, eh, okay. <laughs> it looks alright. It's not completely what I want, but it's gonna have to do. Because, we've, like I said, I'm gonna try my best to give people what they want, but obviously I'm limited by what I can do in this game, because that might prevent me from being able to do things. Holy shit, look at all this stuff. This is new. We've got a doorbell. We've got like a proper big light switch to turn all of our lights on it out in the garden. We can turn all our lights on and off. God damn. Right, uh, radiator plumbing system. Where's the buy many button? Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put one of these here. I'm going to have to grab all the radiators as well in this video. Make sure I put them under the windows, otherwise people will give me hell in the comments. Do I want to put a radiator in uh, my room? Maybe not. We definitely want a radiator in the kids' room. Got to keep that baby warm. Uh, we don't need one in here, we're just going to uh, use one of those towel radiators. Because I think that's another thing that people give me grief for. And also there ain't going to be much room in that bathroom as it is, so I don't want to remove an entire wall just by putting a radiator on it. I'm going to give myself a radiator. I think I deserve a radiator. Or well, me having asthma and that, I definitely need to keep myself warm. <laughs> Not very good in the cold with me asthma and that. Okay. I should have probably painted first just to make it quicker. At the moment, it looks like Donald Trump wants to buy our house. And Donald Trump, you can go fuck yourself, mate. This house belongs to me. I'm not even planning on selling this bad boy. This is going to be mine. I might maybe uh, pull it up for auction and enter the garden into a competition just to see what the house will be valued at and then I'll just reject the uh, price. I'll have to pay a fee if I reject the price, but at least I know what the house would have been sold for and then we can just keep it and I can move my office here. Uh, we want to have a few radiators out here, so let's put another one here. And then another one downstairs. Maybe. Actually, I'm gonna pull it. I don't know where to pull it. Let's, let's pull it here. Right, quickly grab all my radiators now. Why isn't there a buy many button for the radiators? I swear there used to be. You can really move those radiators around now, can't you? It used to be very limited. It's like now you can drag it around a little bit. Yeah, you can actually move it around a bit. That's nice. Don't think you could do that before. Okay. going on there, it's like it was glitching through the uh, the wall a bit. There we go. Bloody install them all, ain't we? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I think you can actually make this a bit more complicated. There's an option for how easy the installation is. I think if you make it a bit more difficult, I think all it does is it, it removes the light glow so you don't know what bit you have to click first. I'm not sure. I've never turned it on. I think, I think it's just set to easy. I'm not actually sure. I don't see the point in making it complicated. I suppose I could make it complicated just to see what it does. Can't remember actually. Maybe it's turned on. I don't know. Oh, I think the game's saving. <laughs> it's gotta be. Yep. Oh, Jesus. This video might have to be a bit longer, just because uh, I want to try and get um, Crash Bandicoot fans' room finished in this video. 
and uh, I've decided to do all these bloody radiators first. Right, back to work upstairs now. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna need to get a bed. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to give everybody a single bed just because of the lack of room. I would have preferred to have given everyone a double bed, but I don't think there's gonna be enough room, so we might have to just deal with I shouldn't have put beds, I should have just wrote bed. <laughs> there we go. I thought I've added actually a few new ones. I just need to make sure there's like an adult. Oh look, they've got cots as well now, I think. Yeah, very nice. Ah, we might have to go with a, uh, a double bed because some of these single beds are looking a little bit kiddie. Oh no, that's all right. We can slot that in over here. There you go. Oh shit, the Smoth family want to buy the house now. <laughs> the Smoth family. Look, Smoth family, we've already made you a house. You were literally the first house I did, if I remember correct. And that's when we first met the grandkids, uh, Amy, uh, Bob and Gary. <laughs> um, do I need to clean these windows? Nope. Can I open the windows? No, it's those ones that don't open. Uh, right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I need like, a, I need something to put the uh, little box TV on. I mean, bedside tables might work for this. Oops. Yeah, we could stick a TV on something like one of these, couldn't you? I mean, that's the kind of stuff I used to do as a kid. I don't really want it to be white. Here we go. The reason why I'm picking cherry is because um, it's got that light wooden sort of jungle color to it. Because this is gonna be like a very jungly sort of uh, themed room. Hopefully. Right, let's see if I can put a TV on it. One of those old fashioned box TVs. Give it that 90s vibe. Shit. Oh, there it is. Does it go? Oh, it does it. Yes, it does. It's got a bit of a bit of a wonkiness to it. It doesn't want to. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Look at that, mate. Now that is. I mean, uh, it's not completely nineties, but that TV sure as hell. Well, that 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 TV ain't even the nineties. That TV is the bloody sixties. Let me have a look. Is there another one that's a little bit more modern than that? I don't think there are. I bet Crash Bandicoot fan regrets this now. I bet he wanted to have like a massive flat screen on a telly. I'm sorry, Crash Bandicoot fan, but yeah, you know, I'm just trying to make it look Crash Bandicoot-ish. Um, where would indoor flowers come under? Decorations. Ah, here we go. Plants. Look at these. These are like... Uh, those fiber optic things, or whatever they're called.
That's another thing I need to remember. I think Maccabi Gamer says he wants a cactus in his room, so I've, there you go. There's plenty of cactuses. Is this the same one that I just bought? No. Christ, his room's gonna smell nice, ain't it? All these bloody herbs up on the window ledge. I love flowers, unlike people. All right, fucking BA, Veronica. Jesus. I know how you feel. It's very easy to not like people, but come on. I'm going to move these all down a little bit. Hope you like herbs, uh, Crash Bandicoot fan, because your room's going to smell like them for the foreseeable future. <laughs> this game makes me so flipping angry sometimes. Oh, oh wrong one. I need to get oh look <laughs> it's uh, Keanu Reeves you're breathtaking oh mate Keanu Reeves is a flipping legend ain't he absolute legend up on stage at uh, I think it was E3 doing the cyberpunk presentation and uh, he comes out to uh, advertise it and then you know get everybody hyped up because Keanu Reeves is on the uh, stage and then he talks about the game being breathtaking and then this random dude in the uh, audience with nuts the size of flipping coconuts just desires to shout out his love for Keanu Reeves and shouts, you're breathtaking. And uh, then uh, Keanu Reeves repeats it back. <laughs> you're breathtaking. You're all breathtaking. Oh, nice little moments like that. And this time it looks I can afford some of the good stuff. I mean that that looks pretty nice. I need it. Can it be che cherry? There you go. Oh, that's puny. I thought it was bigger than that. <laughs> I want a wardrobe as well. That's pretty big, if I remember correct. Fuck. How big a... That'll do, I guess. It looks very short. It's a, how would you keep your clothes in this? Is that what is that? What does that come under? A wardrobe? Like what? What kind of person is keeping their clothes in this? I mean, I'm taller than the fucking wardrobe. If I put my trousers in this, my trousers would probably, I'd say, about a quarter of my trousers would be stuck on the floor, all crumpled up. <laughs> it's puny. We need to get a light switch. Oh, you can even get the uh, these things as well. Look, 
let's get some of these bad boys as well. I'll get your two over here for your PlayStation 1 and also your TV. And then you also need one over here because you want to be able to charge up your uh, Nokia 3310. So there you go, buddy. There you go. Lovely. Right, now we need to get some more bushy flowers. And I also, actually, I need to get a light as well. What does that come under? There yeah, we go. Holy shit, mate. Look at these. Chill. Oh, mate. Yeah, this is very 90s. Let's give it a blue. Oh, yeah, look look at that. What do you think about that, uh, Crash Bandicoot fan? Do you fucking like that? Because I should... Jesus! Oh, mate. Oh, shit. Now you could just wake up every day and just know that you should chill. <laughs> God damn. God damn. Okay. All right, we need an app. Oh, look at that. I love that little wolfy uh, lamp. I wish the lights would stay on in this game. I really wish they would stay on. The Crash Bandicoot theme has, uh, yeah, it's, it's not been too Crash. <laughs> the walls are orange, the floor is blue. There's a somewhat 90s feel to it. I'm feeling more like it's an old person's room, really. Maybe with some more green flowers, it'll bring it together. I think that's what's like ruining it at the moment. And we also want to put some like pictures on the wall, whoops, that are like, um, uh, somewhat like a temple-ish look to them. variety of these bad oh look at that I remember these being somewhat giant oh no not too bad too bushy. Oh. Mag Magneta. I don't know how happy I am with this room, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> right, now we just need, we need to like have some sort of paintings on the wall. What does the... Oh, there we go. Pictures and paintings. Oh, hell yeah, mate. We've got a picture of the crops we grow in our garden. Got a concert one over there, I think. Vancouver, Canada. 
don't know what that's supposed to be. It looks like a bunch of people at a concert. Oh, look at that. Got some teddies. Oh my god! It's a tabby! Oh, look! Snow Leopard! They've got so many new pictures! Oh, Red Pandas! You can actually see those at Yorkshire Wildlife Park now. Uh, I need to go back up there one day. It, it'll be very painful to go back up to Yorkshire, but I need to go up there again one day. A lot of uh, stuff I love up there. Shout out to all I, uh, shout out to all of my Yorkshire fans. All we have is now. That's a bit too deep, that is. Feels a bit, a bit, uh evil to put all of the DLC posters inside the PS4 version when you've only released Garden Flipper. We don't have the Apocalypse Flipper or the House uh, HD, the HGTV uh, DLC, so it feels a bit trolly that does. Oof. Man, Cupid babies are creepy. Oh, look at that. That's cute. There ain't really anything like temple looking. Probably there was like a crate or a box or something that we could put down. Uh, one thing I do need to get, actually, is, uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. That's definitely in the 90s, that is. Oh, that's cute. Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't think I'm too happy with this room. It's okay, I suppose. But yeah, uh, yeah. If you do, if you do see this video, Crash Bandicoot fan, I mean, hopefully you do. It's pointless me making it otherwise. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about it. If you don't like it, feel free to tell me. I can probably adjust it in some ways or whatever. But this is the best I can do for a Crash Bandicoot themed room because I, I don't. It's not like I'm playing on PC where they've probably got a ton of mods and stuff where you can do things like actually add Crash Bandicoot related furniture. Because you could probably do that on the PC furniture with mods, but as we're on the PS4 playing on the PS5, uh, I can only work with what's in the game. So I've got it like a, a tropical kind of orange Crash Bandicoot theme, so and like a bit of a 90s sort of look to it with the furniture. More like an old granny set of furniture, but never mind. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be it for today, Wolf Morbet. So I think next time, as we're upstairs already, I'll probably do Wolf Moon's room next. Then I'll do uh, the baby's room over here for Steve King. And uh, then we'll, well, we, I don't know if we'll, we'll probably do all of the bedrooms before I do this uh, bathroom area. So that's probably what we're going to be doing over the next few videos. But yeah, thanks for watching Wolf More Bits. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And yeah, let me know, uh, Crash Bandicoot fan, if you like your room. It's kind of strange how the whole house is like dead looking and there's nothing going on. You've got this one room that's been done. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like, share, and join the pack tonight.